China shocked the world with these desert mega projects. China is a country filled with remarkable mega projects that have been reshaping the nation, making it a global powerhouse. But beneath the glittering skyscrapers and bustling cities, there's a relentless environmental challenge that has been gripping the country: desertification. The dry, dusty menace, fueled by overgrazing, deforestation, and climate change, has been quietly creeping, posing severe threats to China's ecology and growth. In response, the Chinese government launched several mega projects in different parts of the country to combat desertification. So, what are some of the mega projects that have resulted from this initiative? Join us as we explore the incredible mega projects that are transforming China's deserts into arable lands. Discover how these feats of engineering are shaping China's future and making it a leader in combating desertification. China's Green Great Wall project is a colossal mega project dedicated to thwarting the relentless expansion of desertification in the vast northern regions of the nation. This monumental initiative blankets a staggering 100,000 square kilometers and involves the planting of billions of trees. Since its inception, China has made astonishing strides in this monumental reforestation mission. Official statistics reveal a staggering 100 billion trees planted since 1978, with an impressive 6.6 million hectares of land turned into lush forests yearly. The Green Great Wall project not only curbs soil erosion but also uplifts the lives of local communities, making their surroundings more habitable. Yet this grand project hasn't been without its share of hurdles. Planting trees in arid and semi-arid terrains, coping with scarce water resources, and balancing economic growth with environmental preservation are significant challenges. Nevertheless, the Chinese government remains unwavering in its commitment to the Green Great Wall. They've set their sights on expanding this green tapestry to a colossal 450,000 square kilometers by 2050, with increased investments to fund research and technology to combat desertification. This noble endeavor, however, comes at a considerable cost, currently estimated at around 15.5 billion dollars. Do you think China can successfully turn its deserts into greener areas? In the heart of the Gobi Desert, where the winds are among the most relentless and consistent on the planet, the Gobi Power Project is on a mission to establish a massive wind farm. This ambitious endeavor is a vital component of China's commitment to ramp up its utilization of renewable energy sources. Stretching along the northern border of China with Mongolia, the Gobi Desert provides an ideal area for this clean energy revolution. The land is abundant, costs are low, and nature generously endows the region with ample winds and sunshine. China's grand vision is to create a colossal 450 gigawatts of solar and wind power capacity across the Gobi and other desert regions by 2030. As a size comparison, this dwarfs the combined solar and wind power capacity in the entire United States, which emphasizes the colossal size of the project. With construction already underway, the desert landscape is already harnessing 100 gigawatts of solar power. This bold expansion of renewable energy deployment is not only a testament to China's environmental commitment, but is also hailed as a potent stimulant for the underdeveloped western regions of the country. The Gobi Wind Power Project, once in full swing, is anticipated to generate a staggering six gigawatts of electricity, enough to power more than three million households. Beyond the sheer magnitude of energy production, the project assumes a critical role in China's pursuit of reducing its dependence on coal. A contributor to air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. What do you think of China's strategy of transforming these barren lands into power-generating areas? Next, we will explore the Taklamakan Desert Highway. Meandering through the unforgiving expanse of Xinjiang Province's Taklamakan Desert, the Taklamakan Desert Highway, stretching over a remarkable 840 kilometers, is another mega project transforming the country. Completed in 1995, this ambitious highway construction project defied the very essence of nature by creating roads and bridges over ever-shifting sand dunes. To ensure the safe and sustainable operation of this lifeline, the Taklamakan Desert witnesses the birth of an extraordinary man-made ecosystem. A protective belt, 100 meters wide on both sides of the highway, was meticulously cultivated. 
This shelter belt comprises of hardy, drought-resistant trees and shrubs used to stabilize these nomadic sand dunes, curbing the relentless forces of wind erosion and combating the insidious spread of desertification. Recent years have seen an extension of this green endeavor with dedicated workers expanding the verdant oasis around the Tarim Desert Highway. This lush greenery serves a dual purpose, reducing the peril of sand drifting onto the highway, a safety hazard for drivers, and more profoundly, contributing to the overarching goal of combating desertification and erosion reduction. In 2022, the Taklamakan Desert Highway even achieved one of the biggest milestones as a zero carbon emission highway. This desert highway now relies solely on renewable energy sources, harnessing the power of the sun and the wind. This monumental shift aligns with China's unwavering commitment to slash greenhouse gas emissions and confront the ever-pressing challenges of climate change. And last but not least on our list is the South to North Water Diversion Project. Water scarcity is a perennial challenge in the arid northern regions of China, with places like Beijing bearing the brunt of a relentless thirst. The South to North Water Diversion Project is the answer to this enduring problem, an endeavor that involves the mammoth task of redirecting nearly 45 billion cubic meters of water annually from the Yangtze River in the verdant south to the parched north. This transformative project not only ensures a lifeline for millions of people in the north, but also serves as a shield against droughts and water scarcity. Its execution entails the creation of three extensive canals, with two already standing as a testament to human ingenuity. Remarkably, these channels slice through some of the most arid landscapes, including the unforgiving Gobi Desert. The choice of these routes may have been influenced by the abundance of available land and a desire to steer clear of densely populated areas. However, this engineering marvel hasn't been without its environmental repercussions, including the displacement of local communities and disruptions to delicate ecosystems. But it's not all about disruptions. The South to North Water Diversion Project has been a game-changer for this parched region. It's turned barren deserts into fertile oases, providing a reliable source of water for agriculture, industry and daily life. Groundwater resources, once overexploited, have been spared, while economic growth has surged, with job opportunities multiplying in tandem. Do you think this is a sustainable way of transforming the deserts? China's desert projects have helped to combat desertification, reduce reliance on coal, and meet China's economic and environmental goals. And as China continues to grow and develop, it is likely that we will see more awe-inspiring mega-projects in the future. What do you think about these projects? And do you think China will be able to overturn desertification in the region? Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe and share our channel for more videos like this. That's all from this video. See you in the next one.